Welcome back, bro. So I want to share with you the habits that really helped me change my life for the better. Because when I was younger, the habits that I had, the daily things that I was doing, were not helping me become the best version of myself. My daily activities, the daily habits that I had consisted of playing video games, eating junk food, being really lazy and unmotivated, you know, watching porn, going on the hub, masturbating, tricking myself into thinking that I was being successful with all these girls when in reality I wasn't. I was just in my room alone, jerking off to the pixels on my phone of watching other people have sex. Every single day for me pretty much was the same. I would wake up, go to school, I would get off the bus in my neighborhood, I would walk to my house. As soon as I walked in the house, I would grab some sort of snack, unhealthy food. I would grab it, go upstairs, and start playing video games for the rest of the night until I went to bed. And it was a rinse and repeat cycle. And somewhere in there during that time, you know, that night, I would go on the hub and I'd watch porn. It's not like I was super young when I was doing this either. This was happening you know, towards the end of middle school when I was younger, but also when I got into high school. And even after I got out of high school for the first year or so, or, you know, half a year, six months, when I got out of high school, this was my life. When I was 19 years old, I wasn't really in the gym. I was watching porn. I was playing video games. I was eating unhealthy. I was just working a job that I didn't enjoy. I was very lazy and unmotivated. And these habits that I had were not helping me change that. They were just holding me back from reaching my full potential. One of the biggest things that I had trouble with was doom scrolling on social media. All the time I would just go on Instagram, I'd go on Twitter, I'd go on Snapchat. And when I was on Instagram, right, I'd see everyone else's posts, of course. And as the saying goes, right, people post the best parts of their life on social media. So I would see those things and I would think to myself that everyone had such a better life than me. Everyone was doing so much better than me. Everyone, you know, was so much happier in life than I was. And I would compare myself. And when I started comparing myself, I was feeling worthless. I felt like a loser. I felt like, what am I doing? Or why don't I have that kind of life? Or, you know, how are they seem so successful, right? How are they having such a successful life? Meanwhile, I'm here just playing video games all the time, wasting my energy on the hub and being really lazy and unmotivated and unproductive. When I finally had enough of that life, right? When I finally had enough of comparing myself, enough of wasting all this time being unproductive, playing video games, watching the hub and wasting all my energy on these things that aren't going to build the kind of life that I want, I started to change. I started my self-improvement journey and there's three habits that I started doing that really helped me do that. And the first one was I started getting in the gym consistently. I started actually going to the gym and working out consistently. Back then, I thought a lot of getting girls was just being attractive, you know, just looking the best you can. And obviously that is a big part of getting girls. It's not the only thing, but I like wrapped my whole perception around getting a girlfriend of, you know, how my body was, how attractive I was. So that was a big driving factor for me to get in the gym. I wanted to, you know, lose fat. I wanted to add more muscle. I wanted to have that attractive body so when I was out at the beach or hanging out with friends or out in public or you know if I was at the gym changing right I wanted to feel comfortable and feel confident and proud of the body that I had so I started getting in the gym it started making me feel better about myself what came with that was more success with girls I finally got my first girlfriend you know when I first started going to the gym and I started becoming a better version of myself I started interacting with girls more which led to me getting that first girlfriend that I had so I saw results in a way because I was working on becoming better and I finally found a girl that showed interest in me and you know that ended up being in a relationship with me the biggest thing I would say though that the gym did for me that benefited me was discipline it built discipline in my life I started building up that discipline and you know, started being comfortable with being uncomfortable sometimes because there would be times where I didn't want to go to the gym, but I started to enjoy it. I started to enjoy putting myself through the challenge of trying to move heavier weight each time, right? Trying to go higher in reps and really become better physically. I enjoyed that challenge. So even on the days that I didn't want to go, right? I didn't want to go to the gym or I didn't feel like it, I would still go. 
I built up that discipline in my life. I could have easily just sat home those days I didn't feel like going. Even now to this day, I could sit home and not go to the gym on the days that I don't feel like going. But what is that going to do for me? Is that going to help me get the kind of body that I want to have? Is that going to help me be as attractive as I can be? No, it's just gonna hold me back from those things. So once I started being in the gym more and I actually took it serious and I took you know eating serious as well, I started to eat better, my life started to change more. It started to become better. I started to feel better about myself and I was having more confidence in every aspect of my life. The second habit that I started implementing into my life, which I was never doing when I was younger, back then before I started my self-improvement journey, was I actually started reading books. I started reading books to build my knowledge. I started reading books on woman attraction, on you know female nature. I started reading books on life and just like, you know, how to be successful in life and what is the meaning of life and everything and learning from all these people who have gone through challenges and become a better version of themselves to help guide me on how I can become a better version of myself. I started reading books on mentality, on mindset, because I, I had a weak mentality back then. I had a weak mindset. I believed things that weren't real, that weren't actually reality, that I thought life went different than how it actually goes. If that makes sense, like I believe that, you know, life will just work itself out. You know, I'll get to somewhere someday, you know, I'll achieve something someday if I just continue going through life when that's not how it works. If you want to achieve what you want to achieve, you have to put in the work. You have to go through the challenges. You have to go through the ups and downs. You have to make sacrifices. All of these things I didn't know back then. So I had to change my mindset. I had to change my mentality. I started reading more and more. I was able to start putting my energy into reading books whenever I was bored or when I wanted to do something or if I didn't have much to do, I put my energy into reading all those kinds of books instead of going on the hub, right? Instead of wasting my energy and my testosterone on watching other people have sex, I started reading books instead of playing video games eight hours a day. I came to realize that there is so much knowledge out there and so much guidance out there from the people that are successful, from the people that you look up to, from the people that I look up to. They have it in these books, they have it you know, in YouTube videos, out on the internet and everything. And it's just, it's there for us to go look at, it's there for us to go and learn from. And that became interesting to me. I wanted to start doing that. I wanted to build my knowledge, I wanted to become better, I wanted to start you know, building this business and doing all of these things. Whatever it is that you want to do, if you want to become better with women, right? You want to understand female nature more. You want to build a business. You want to get your dream body. Whatever it is, there's a book out there about it that's going to help you learn the things that you need to learn. So you need to take advantage of those things and start building your reserve of knowledge. And that's what I did and what I continue to do to this day. And it's helped change my life. The third habit that I started that helped change my life was starting this business starting this community, starting to create content. I had like an awakening a few years ago when I first created this YouTube channel. When I first made the channel titled Jordan Maley, I originally started it because I had a feeling like, I wanna do something big with my life. I wanna create something. You know, I don't wanna work a nine to five anymore. Th those were my thoughts back then. And when I first started creating content, it wasn't consistent. I was kind of all over the place, but I created the channel. And at first it was kind of just a hobby for me. As I got older though, and I just started to learn a little bit more about life and I started to have more actual experiences in my life, like going through a pretty tough breakup, you know, when my first relationship ended, going through some other ups and downs with girls after that, going through, you know, something in my own life with like, hurting myself pretty bad with tearing my ACL in basketball one you know a few years ago going through tough experiences like that and other things as well and just knowing how I've grown as a person from how I used to be I started to want to share those experiences I wanted to start helping other men going through the things that I've gone through I was starting my journey of becoming the best version of myself back then and I'm still on that journey and it made me realize that I wanna help other men become the best versions of themselves as well. I wanna turn this into a business. 
when that finally clicked in my mind and I started to realize that this can be the avenue, right? This YouTube channel can be the driving force to help me achieve that, I started to have a vision. I started to have a dream and a realization that this could actually be real. This could happen. I can make this work and this can become my job one day. It gave me a sense of purpose. It gave me a sense of fulfillment. Once I understood that and I realized that this is actually possible and I can achieve this, I started to take it seriously. I started to be more consistent with it. And that's led me to where it is now, how I've been consistent with it, how we've grown this community and we're just continuing to grow and it's not a hobby anymore. I'm treating it as an actual business. Looking back at it now, I realize how bad my habits were back then, you know, when I was younger and before I started my self-improvement journey. And I'm really glad that I went through the eye-opening experiences that I went through in life to help spark, you know, the self-improvement journey that I've been on because if I didn't go through those experiences, if I didn't have those eye-opening moments, even though they sucked to go through, they were really hard, right? And they weren't fun and it was tough and challenging. If I didn't go through those, who knows where I would be right now. I still might be the same loser that I was back then, the same weak-minded guy, the guy that still plays video games, that doesn't work out, that's not focused on improving his life and you know learning about life and learning about the things that he wants to accomplish. So I'm happy that I was able to go through those experiences and that those experiences taught me that I needed to be better. Take a look at what your habits are like, bro. Pay attention and look in the mirror and see what might be holding you back in your life. And once you figure that out, replace those things with better habits, with habits like these, with habits like reading the books, going to the gym, maybe starting a passion that you have and trying to turn it into a business and learning how to do those things. Doing so is only gonna benefit your life and help you become the best version of yourself. If you made it through the whole video, bro, I appreciate you. Thanks so much for sticking around. It means a lot to me. If you did enjoy, hit the like at the bottom of the video and hit that subscribe button. Join the Better Self community and I will see you in the next video. Keep grinding.